Oh yeah, what's up guys? Oh, we're doing great. Okay, so here we are. Yeah, I've solved it, of course. Just so I can like, prepare for the video. It was too long the last take. I recorded it and it was 13 minutes. So hopefully this will be shorter. Anyway, breaking the records. This is a hacker run challenge. So basically when what wants us to do is he would or it would give us this list of integers which basically represents Maria session of tennis games tennis I believe it's tennis basketball whatever so yeah basketball so we have the this integers represent the game so we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then we have the score so 10 5 20 okay and then we want we want to get the highest and the lowest score how are we going to do that okay so first we're going to check the first uh, game and then we're going to define the highest score and the lowest score to be 10 then we're going to check the second game then we are going to check okay so is this game is lower than the last game or high or is this game lower than our lowest game or is it higher than our highest game or highest score so if it's lower than our lowest score we're gonna count that this is breaking the lowest score record if it's higher we're gonna record it as breaking the higher the highest record so as you can see here she broke her best record twice after games two and seven which basically this one and this one and her was record four times after the games one four and four one four six and eight so we have one four six and eight so we print two for the wind or the breaking the best records and four for breaking the lowest record so yeah let me go there just let me tell so we set expand the monitor okay and let's get some space okay so what are we going to need is first print the scores list of course so we the scores the scores is a, a list of integers as you can see here of the representing the, the game the games of the basketball session so yeah. what we are going to do is loop through four score and scores so what does this what this code line code does is basically makes this variable equals an integer in every iteration through this list so it will score for the first in the first loop it's gonna equal 10 in the second loop it's gonna equal 5 and then 20 and so on so yeah uh, so we're gonna need a uh, some variables over here so we need the highest i'm gonna just put highest track lowest or l just rec you know let us do some has record okay i want to be like formal record equals zero or not zero actually we want it to be up make it zero then we're gonna fix it later let us do not skip steps so yeah so now we have those highest highest record and lowest record now here we are going to check if score is higher than the highest record if so then the highest record should change to equal score that clear right so if score is higher than the highest record then now we have a new highest record which is the current score yeah and then we're gonna do another statement if score is less than the lowest record then the lowest record is should equal the score this should also make sense so now if we come here and we print the highest record and the lowest record and run the code We should get 25 and zero wait what the last record was one hmm. 
one, this one. Yeah, close one. Oh, wait. Okay, so give me the screen back. So the lowest tracker. If score, okay, of course, score will not be lower than the lowest record. Um, stop it, me anyway. So, what we should do is we should not define it to be zero, we should do as this picture suggests the first or the default highest and lowest score should equal the score of the first game. So, to what, what we are going to do is pick the scores list and do pick the first item so this this uh, basically means give me the first item of the, the scores list so now if you run the code we should get 25 and 1 come on yeah 25 and 1 perfect so what we are want to do now is count when did she broke her highest record and when did she broke her lowest record so we could say here how we just want to count so we can say breaking highest record and then we equal zero breaking i'm gonna change this to just be lowest record and we're gonna make it zero and then here if it's if she broke her highest record we're gonna just increase the highest record by one and if she broke her lowest record we're gonna just increase her last record by one and then we're gonna just pr print her highest and her lowest record and run the code as you can see expected output is 2 and 4 debug output is 2 and 4 the only thing it wants us to do is not print it but return it since this is a function yeah i know some things may not seem clear that's why i'm gonna link to the python course that's maybe um, you will find it somewhere in the description in the comments i i've been working on it for a while I'm not sure if it will be ready by the time you are seeing this video, but hopefully, hopefully, it will be ready. So yeah, check the description, maybe write a comment if you didn't find it, you know, ask me. Yo, man, where is that course to link? Yeah, so anyway, yeah, so let's run the code now. Oh yeah, man. Let's summon the code. Boom, boom, boom. Success. Yeah, let's go, man. Yeah. So, hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Yeah, subscribe because we are going to upload a ton of those videos. So, yeah, and more. So, yeah, subscribe, enable the notifications so you don't miss a video. And yeah, see you in the next one. Thank you.